and we had a lot of opportunities. We missed two or three open nets. We had a goal disallowed. You know, there was a deflection to just just about cross the line. You know, again, two three times they, you know, we almost scored. and They came right down right after that and, and scored. So we just got to make good of our opportunities. Well, I think Pony's goal was big for us to start. Um, you know, I still think uh, you know there's some some times that uh, you know we could have been a little bit smarter and managed the puck a little bit better, but. Then again, sometimes you have to give them credit too. You know, they force turnovers and do a good job. So um, that's playoff hockey. But what it come, I think what it came down to was execution. And Flower made some big saves. No, no, no. The pressure is not off. It's uh, this is just the beginning. We just, uh, you know, you score one goal. It's not like, uh, you know, you win the Stanley Cup. It's just uh, game three. <laughs> we two, uh, we up to one in the series and. It's a long way to go. We just, uh, and you know, uh, I have to, I have to work hard and uh, get more goals and you know, be be helpful and basically uh, work hard. Uh, no, it's a pretty um, loud building. You know, that's what we expected. Yeah, uh, we knew they were going to come out strong, and um, I think through the fact that we have some experience from the past two seasons, uh, help us to stay calm. We've been pretty good on the, on the road this year, and. Uh, you know, it's key for us to uh, to try to get momentum when it's time to and, and stay on them. And uh, sometimes uh, I feel like after we got the lead, we a little bit more patient, but uh, we stayed on them. And, uh, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was a good game. Cool. You know, obviously we're upset. Um, the reality of it is, you know, it's a race to four, and um, they still got to beat us two more times. So um, we got to refocus, make some adjustments. But it sucks losing, especially here. We want to try to steal some momentum. Well, with their 4-2 win Sunday night at Scotiabank Place, the Pittsburgh Penguins have claimed a 2-1 lead in this best-of-seven Eastern Conference quarterfinal against the Ottawa Senators. Home ice back with the Penguins, probably where they feel it belonged. After a Game 1 loss, the Penguins have really started to take it to the Ottawa Senators, who are not generating quality chances at even strength. Their goals tonight were all on the power play. The Penguins were able to take advantage of their skill, were able to be patient when Ottawa tried to press with the physicality, and all of that combined for one of the most convincing wins I've seen the Penguins have in months. This is one of those ones where if they make a deep playoff run, you're going to look back and say, this is where it started to come together. At least that's what Sidney Crosby hinted to me after the game when I was talking to him about patience. Now, I'm going to bring in Trib columnist Kevin Gorman here. Kevin, what, what did you see that you liked about the Penguins tonight? And, and maybe more so, what are we still going to need to be concerned about going into game four Tuesday night? Well, the thing I think was the theme, as you mentioned, Rob, was the patience. You know, this was a Penguins team that in game one didn't show enough desperation. Tonight, they showed so much patience that they've put Ottawa now in a desperate situation where they have to win or no, or, or else no going back to Pittsburgh that it's an elimination time. And, and I thought what we saw was the Penguins were the superior team. It's not just a matter of having to do the little things now. Now you're seeing that skill, that talent really show up uh, in Sidney Crosby. You're seeing it show up in Evgeny Melkin. And it's taking the pressure off these other guys because now you're seeing Alexei Ponikarovsky and Bill Guerin score their first goals and the other guys are chipping in. And, and I thought the Penguins did a great job I think this was the biggest thing is that they capitalized every single time Ottawa made a mistake. Now, I had a chance to talk to head coach Dan Bilesma, Kevin, and we were talking just one-on-one -on -one after the game, and he said he was so impressed by Chris Letang constantly taking the beating he took tonight, hanging in there low, getting run into the boards by the Ottawa Senators forwards, basically absorbing that punishment in order to get the puck out. That's what the Penguins have used to turn around this series. Their defensemen, much maligned. Look, we all said it coming in. I certainly noted it enough that the Ottawa Senators are going to try to pound the Penguins' defense. Yeah. Well, the Penguins' defense has said, fine, hit us. We're going to try to get that puck out. I also think one thing you're seeing with the Penguins right now is this. They're watching these other playoff games. They might say they're not, but they're seeing that this field, this is open for them. And I think really, Kevin, closing thoughts here, they're looking at this series as like sort of an ability to sort of extract from the Senators the game they're going to need to make maybe another long playoff run. Yeah, you know, I think you made a great point with the defenseman. Um, I think that that's something where they've, they've realized we're going to play our style of game even if it takes – being on the receiving end of some of those punishing hits. And, and Ottawa did out hit the Penguins tonight, not like they did, you know, unlike game two. Uh, Ottawa, Ottawa's on the, uh, on the aggressive end of things. But uh, the Penguins played their game, they stuck to it. They never panicked, which is what really impressed me. They were in control of this game pretty much from the outset, you know. And there were a couple plays here and there where Ottawa made some uh, mistakes, didn't take advantage of a chance to have a game tying goal at the end of the first period. Uh, you know, that, that pivotal. Uh, Carlson, yeah, Carlson's, at the end of the Carlson's penalty at the end of the second period, 
And, and the Penguins, they just they pounced on them. Every time they made a mistake with those two rookies that we're talking about, uh, the Penguins just pounced on them and made them pay for it. And that's what a veteran superior team does. Oh, thanks, Kev. You know, champions win game threes on the road to reclaim series advantage. That's what the Penguins did tonight. They got a game four Tuesday night at Ottawa. Win that, and they're coming back home to Pittsburgh with a chance to wrap up this thing fast. Who would have thought that after losing game one? For Trib columnist Kevin Gorman, I'm Penguins beat reporter Rob Rossi, and you'll want to stay tuned to Trib Total Media for the region's best Pittsburgh Penguins playoff coverage.